and lockups almost industrial what i keep getting told is that it was a setup i've been told this okay he's just said that you're not going to like what you see now i don't know whether that's for me or for you but i'm going to go with that is this the area close the next exit okay Now you know how I said to you in the car that I just kept seeing garages? I feel that this industrial area is connected to the whole garages. He's just said yes I was dumped. Sorry, that is very blunt. Is he dumped there? You're pointing right at it. Because that's where pointing. I want to go. Can we walk there? Is that okay? Yeah. Can we get through? I keep being told that people were told that he was walking down here late at night. I feel as though there's, there's like some conspiracy yeah. of some form. He was involved in this deal, like as a runner. There was a shoot, there was a gun involved. Talk to me, Jason. Come on. He's just said I messed up. I screwed up. Someone told him to shoot someone. I now know what happened. Someone rolled him in. He's very, very angry. He's making me very angry. Ugh! She was everything. She was my everything. Driven by love. The passions are so inflamed that the person has no control. To commit the unthinkable. She decided to go talk to the girlfriend with the gun. In one dark and deadly moment. This is all just about anger and jealousy. Crimes of Passion, a new series, Fridays, on Zone Reality. It's, it's very taxing emotionally with all the, the things we see and, and have to do. They could be depleted of all energy and they still keep going. That's the type of individuals that you have working. I was running down the street. I was hoping and praying that I'd get down there in time. Don't worry. We're not going to leave you like this. Heroic tales of superhuman courage. Just another day on Zone Reality. Its beauty will never stop inspiring us. Its uncompromising will to survive will never stop humbling us. Its raging elements will never stop terrifying us. The forces of nature. The power of real entertainment. Zone Reality. and serve. When I took that pledge, I was so green, you know, mistook me for a houseplant. Drop the gun! But the streets soon took care of that. Gun runners, drug smugglers, white feeders, serial killers. Freeze! Pimps, pushers, abusers, hookers. They're all out there, walking among us, working their angles, looking for their fixes. Here it comes. All agents stand by. I heard once the cops have the lowest life expectancy after retirement. Even the slightest mishap can have deadly consequences. Me? I just hope I make retirement. Walk the beat with our unsung heroes. The most compelling crime shows are on Zone Reality. Oh, 
I heard a crack that sounded like thunder. When Mother Nature gets mad. No, no, no. I've seen a lot of people hit by things coming off the mountains, but never anybody hit my side like this. There are no limits. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. To its fury. If I would've went in the river, I'd have drowned, because nobody would've found me. Trying to make sense of the unimaginable. It altered my life incredibly. Anatomy of Disaster, weekdays on Zone Reality. Someone told him to shoot someone. And the gun was there for protection. All the stories I've heard regarding his death, there has been a gun mentioned. Thank you, thank you, there was a gunshot. I hear the gunshot. But he's saying I couldn't do it. He had to shoot and he couldn't. Because you put the morals in him and to shoot someone was actually wrong. It should have hit someone, but he aimed it down at the floor. There was someone quivering in front of him and he aimed it at the floor. I feel this was done to make it look like it was something else. Right. I feel like it was made to look like it was an overdose. Jason completely hung with the wrong crowd. Um, there were drugs involved. There was a lot of other, you know, crimes involved. I don't even want to think about what he was involved with. I now know what happened. Someone rolled him in. It's as though he never did the job he was supposed to do. He he screwed up he'd been tied and he was hit around the back of the neck and hit in the stomach i'm sorry he blacked out and there were people around him there was someone standing down at him and he's shown me him being looked down on and being pointed at he was staring in to someone's eyes when this happened I could see the guy who instigated this murder. I could see his eyes, the whites of his eyes were slightly yellow and I could see this fierceness coming through his eyes. They promised me it would be quick. He knew it was gonna happen. <sighs> Are you sure you wanna know? Yes. Are you... Oh, I do. Okay. Lisa seemed concerned about telling me the information she was getting. She didn't know how I was going to be able to deal with it. But as a mother, I really needed to know the truth. He's arguing with me. So tell her, tell her. You know, she wants to know, tell her. You want to know, tell her. I'm like, mm, okay. Okay. He was held. He had taken drugs. Seconds, minutes before, whatever. But it was like it was forced into him. They told me it wouldn't hurt so much if he'd taken this stuff. And he thought he was going to be shot, but he wasn't. And there was blood down his front. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, it's blood down his front. Blood had come from here. It wasn't deep enough. I feel hit. I feel, his, I feel like he was held by his head somehow. Unfortunately, I feel that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really, I'm sorry. He's shown me he was held by his head. Oh, I don't want to see this. He's just said to me, it hurts so much. As a mother, you never want to think of your child going through pain certainly that amount of pain. Are you all right? Okay. That's okay. The details of Jason's death and how it happened and what he was faced with were unthinkable. But Evelyn needed to know, so I gave her that information. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate this so much. Lisa described my son's last day as perhaps being a drug deal gone bad, knowing too much about something or letting something slip. Considering the people he was hanging around, I think this could very well be. Although my son's life was taken and left here at the canal, I know that his spirit is still with me, always.
Evelyn wanted the information. She wanted to know everything. So I had to share it with her. But, you know, I can't take that home with me. I just have to keep going because now I've got to go and see if someone's house is actually haunted. So I'm off to see Jeff and Kashmir, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be picking up. So there's a lady staring out of that window there. And I can tell you she's not alive. I'm Jeff, this is my girlfriend Kashmir. My parents have owned this house in Hancock Park for 51 years. This is an old house. It was built in 1931. At night, you know, the wood creaks and, and doors don't exactly fit right, so there's a lot of natural explanations for things if you're looking for it, but then things happen that you just can't explain. We want Lisa to come out here because things are happening and we want to know what's going on. It's a disturbing feeling to, to feel like you're sort of not safe in your own home. So I just feel that Lisa could really, really help us. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Hi yes. I'm Lisa. Nice oh, to meet you. Good to meet you. Hi. Good to finally meet Kashmir. you. Kashmir. When I met Jeff and Kashmir, I had no idea what to expect. At the beginning, there was a lot of mixed energies, but I was greeted by this beautiful house. Wow. I love it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wander. I really kind of want to start upstairs because that's where I feel very okay. drawn to. I've already waved at the woman that's staring out one of the windows. Oh Are you serious? <gasps> Yeah, I was like, hi. <laughs> when she walked in and she said, who's, who's that woman in the window? And I just flipped. I've never told anybody about that except Kashmir. I need to get the layout of the house here. So a room in there. But this is what, this is here. that window. Here. Is that, that window it's is here. where I saw it's that here. That's the one. Let me just get the information here. Sure, I don't like this woman. She's not evil. Huh. You weren't the first occupants of this house, no, were you? Because no. this is her house. Really? Oh. This is her house. She doesn't like people in a house. My necklace that I had on all of a sudden felt really tight around my neck. And it was like someone was actually pulling it at the back. I feel like she really doesn't like me. I feel she doesn't like anybody. So isn't that personal? It's no, just... no, 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 no. It's a woman thing. I don't think she likes women. Okay. And I've taken this off because I almost feel, this is going to sound horrible, I feel like that. Yeah. I just felt as though this was old energy of someone either had been strangled or actually had taken their own life by hanging. Here. Oh. <laughs> Here. I don't like this room. Okay. I've got a woman. I don't like her. She, she's. she's